A grassroots group in Spokane wants voters to decide whether city council members can get a 44% raise, and they're frantically trying to gather signatures to make it happen. kxy 4s Grace Ditzler working for you tonight. Grace, this increase was already approved by the Salary Review Commission. This group, though, saying not so fast. Melissa, this group tells me a pay increase of 44% about from $31,000, a little bit over that, to about $45,000. Well, that's the taxpayer's money, and this group wants voters to be able to decide what to do with it. And City Council Member Brian Begg says that the City Council didn't come up with this amount. The Review Commission did, but he thinks it will be beneficial for the city in the long run. I'm going to sign and get on the ballot. It's the final push for a group who calls themselves No 44 Spokane. In hand, we only have a few thousand signatures, um, but like I said, we've got enough pages out there. I've printed almost a full ream of, uh, of, of signature pages, mm -hmm. and does, I've been distributing them all over the city. Scott Cousell is one of the co-sponsors of the petition. When he found out the city council was poised to receive a 44% pay increase from about $31,000 to $45,000, he felt like he needed to do something. Because all the money comes from taxpayers, right. um, and we want to make sure that we have a better voice in how our money is spent. In order to get this issue on a ballot, Scott's group needs to turn in 5,000 signatures by the end of the week. If you want to have your voice heard, if you want to vote yes or no, could I please have your signature and have a ballot? think about it. You're right. City Council Member Brianne Begg says that 44% increase isn't as big as it may seem. 34 people get paid more than 100000 at the city, so that sounds like a lot percentage-wise, but because City Council Members get paid so little compared to other senior-level city employees, it's really not that much in real dollars. Begg says the pay raise will be good for the city in the long run because it will make the position more accessible to qualified candidates. I think it's a really good idea because we can get a higher caliber decision maker. Uh, there's a lot of people who would be great on city council, but they can't afford to do it if they're raising their family. And those asked to sign the petition had mixed reactions today. Some saying the pay increase wasn't much of a concern, but others agree the taxpayers should be able to decide. This is uh, saying we're not happy with them giving them just voting themselves a 44 percent. Sure, I'll sign that. And Cousel says as of this afternoon, they had a little over 2,000 signatures. And if they aren't able to collect those 5,000 signatures that they need, that the, the Salary Review Commission's recommendations will go into effect around January 1st. Reporting live in downtown Spokane tonight, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News.